Hey y'all, this is Stevio here. I just found out I inherited my uncle's dealership and small farm. Let's get to it. So, I just retired from the military not too long ago. So, my uncle passed away, if you didn't know that. So, didn't really know him that well. Knew him early in my life, and once in the military, kind of fell out of touch. So, it was kind of a surprise. Uh, obviously, I got out of the military and kind of thinking what I was going to do, and then and this kind of just fell into my lap. So, always wanted to be a farmer and always wanted to live out in God's country over here in Iowa, so I'm looking forward to it. So, right now, I'm trying to find this dealer. I know it's a little ways out of town, so my uncle fell on bad house the last few years, so it got kind of run down. He wasn't able to keep up with his farm. So a lot of it he shared out or custom farmed out. Uh, I know according to parents that you know, he just couldn't take. I know according to my parents he just couldn't keep up with the farm. So we're going to go here. Should be coming up on the turn here quickly. So we're just pulling in here. So we just made the turn into the old road my uh, uncle's dealership was on. So I got everything I own pulling in my old second gen Dodge here. So it's a good old Dodge pulls this uh, car trailer really easy. So we're gonna pull up, should be coming up here fairly soon. All right, this should be it, I believe. I believe this is it. So, this is our home. Let's go check this place out quickly. Leave this Dodge Park over here. Got the key for the gate here. Open this up. Got a little office here. So I'm gonna have to go to the bank. Probably get something in my belly too, so I haven't even talked to the banker yet to find out everything. Uh I know my uncle has some harvesting to do. I don't own no farm equipment. The only thing I own is a 4020 over here. So just looking over the inventory a little bit. Looks like we got some old trucks here. We got an old rundown truck here. Got a Travis dump wagon. So I'm going to have to go over all the paperwork before I find out what I have. Because I couldn't even tell you what I have here on the lot. So I'll go over all that. But right now I'm going to get this uh, trailer unhitched get into town and try to get something in my belly and talk to the banker after that. We're pulling up over here. I'm trying to find a place to eat. We go to Applebee's. Oh, I'm just craving uh, something else, I guess. I guess uh, we'll see where we eat at. This is the first time I went to City of Moore. There we go, we pull in over here. Looks like there's a few farmers in the town. 
so you heard that uh, this guy Stevie, I'm telling you about his his uncle passed away and he just moved in from South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So somebody somebody else was mentioning that too. Oh, hold on here, Stevie. Hey, hey, Jake. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hi, Jake. Nice to see you here. Yeah, yeah. We're right. Come join our ta our table here. Okay. Hey, uh, well, Stevio, this is uh, here, Austin here, here and then that's Grant oh, right over going? there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Stevio. Hey, nice to meet you. Fancy seeing you guys here. How's everything? Uh, busy as always, you know. How about yourself? Uh, I just got hit with a shocker. I just found out I inherited my uh, uncle's uh, small farm dealership. I don't really know. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm kind of overwhelmed, I guess. Oh, I, I bet. Do, uh... I mean, is there anything we could do to help you out, maybe? Uh, I know he has some crops. He used to have them custom farm because he fell in bad health but his last few years, but I couldn't even tell you exactly where they're at, to be honest. So I just, like, literally got in town like a... Not too long ago. Gotcha. Well, I mean, if you guys are down, we could uh, help him out if he figures out where that land is. Yeah, Stevio, we could. Yeah, we could harvest those if you need. To. If if you need to, we could harvest those for you. That's cool. I mean, that's like yeah, I... a huge, overwhelming lift off my shoulders because I'm like a little overwhelmed right now. Yeah, we can definitely help you out. I'm, I have uh, no problem with it. We'll yeah, uh, get all of our equipment out. And... I got my 9770. I have uh, my helper, Austin, here, who should be able to help. And then Jake, you down. And then maybe we get, we talk to Buck, too, other local farmer around here. That'd work good. Yeah, wow. let's get everybody together. This is, like, overwhelmingly warm welcome you guys are giving me here. So I appreciate oh, well, it. Welcome to Iowa. <laughs> Uh, I know my, uh, uncle had a few, uh, farm trucks down there, so I'll probably, uh, meet you guys over there once I find the keys for him. And, All uh, right. what do you think about that? I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. That'd yeah. be good. What, uh, will they haul grain? Or are they... Yeah, we have, a. Uh, there's, I know he has an old grain truck down there, so I'm, uh, probably help you guys out, because I just don't feel right not doing it nothing mm -hmm. so yeah does anybody have a semi yeah well, i can uh i can get the co-ops rig okay. out and use okay. it i think we'll be covered i got a grain cart too so a great one grain cart could be run if we have two or three comm lines i think we get this knocked out pretty quick maybe by the end of the day too even yeah sounds like a plan okay sounds good well right. we're gonna take off we're gonna start heading there uh i guess we gotta figure out where that field is don't we yeah well, let me, uh, I'll go talk really quick and, uh, let you guys know. I just okay. have to go on so. to the land adjuster here. So, I just found out all the farmers are getting together and helping me harvest one of my fields. So that is really cool. So what I need to do now is I feel bad not helping them out. So, I know when I came here there's a few, uh, grain trucks here. So, I need to find the keys. We should have... Let's see, we do have a Wilson trailer there. We also have this old grain truck here. Looks like this wouldn't be a bad... So, maybe I'll find the keys to this GMC uh, top kick here got to be keys around here somewhere hidden under the couch cushion no yep. well you know it's right there odd all right so let's see if this old uh, GMC will start up first yep start it up so it looks like we have enough fuel. So I need... So 
gonna open this gate here. Got that running. So I think I'm going to get see if we can get this uh, Mack truck running too. Find the other key there. Alright, got the key. Mack truck starts right up. That's good. So I'm going to get this hooked up to the Wilson trailer because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of grain to haul. Alright. So we got this all hooked up. We're going to take this old Mack truck with the Wilson trailer over to the field and see if we can uh, help them uh, haul some grain. Good thing I have a CDL, you know. I always kept that up in the military, so at least I can help out in times like this. Really appreciate these guys getting together and helping me out pretty cool so definitely a uh, warm welcome to this area can't wait to get to know these guys better looks like a few of them already got here so pulling up here pull this over to the side of the road and go talk to them There's Jake. He's almost got the same setup as you. Steve, yeah. Yep. He's almost exactly the same. It looks like he has a... What trailer is that? It's not the Wilson, it's uh a... Load King. Load King, yep. And yep. what do you got? You got a Wilson. Yep. Man, this is a nice truck you got. It's for sale. For sale. Oh, I don't know if I need a semi. I've just got an acreage. Hey, you can haul grain for local farmers. How many, how many Ks is on it? Uh, I think that one... Let's see. This is a 1990, I believe. So, haven't been able to look at all the paperwork yet for all this. So, still researching a lot of the inventory my uncle has, so probably gonna have to take a trip down to the dealer so I can give you the honest truth because I'm gonna tell you right now I just don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know Grant's needing a semi probably here in the next week or so, so maybe he might need one. I got a few down there, so uh, other than just seeing them, I, I can't tell you, so I'm gonna have to research. What else you got down there? For so, uh, stuff. So I have a uh, Kenworth flat top uh, Peterbilt. Mm, got a uh, Ford quad cab. Let's see. Uh, got a few old uh, beaters that I give you a great deal on. I think they still need to get in the shop and uh, inspected. But oh, okay. To be honest, you're gonna have to take a trip down there because uh, I just got in town today, so this is the first time I've been around. Yeah, you got any? Do you got any old tractors down there or no? I got a uh, no, not right now. So I know my uncle's health was failing the last few years, so he ended up selling all of his farm equipment. Oh, okay. And custom uh, farmed it out, so. I just have like a clean the a chore tractor to clean up the yard and stuff like that a 4020 but nothing other than that that's it oh okay yeah i've got a 4020 too but i i'm kind of just looking at something a bit bigger to run my hay behind. yeah there's a few see somebody has a new 7r over here who's that yeah that, that's that's uh that's grant uh that's a little overkill be a little overkill for my hay bun. Hey, Wouldn't uh, you say, Jake? Oh, a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. Wait, why don't we uh, hook the 9RX up to that hay bun and see how fast it'll run it? Oh, I, we don't have a three point <laughs> on that. Just the draw bar. It doesn't need the three point. It doesn't need oh, the three really? point. No. Huh. It's standard hitch pin. Well, I think I'm. Uh, 
I was trying to get a hold of my wife, but she won't pick up the phone. So I'm not far from my place. I'm going to just walk over there, get my uh, little combine, and, and bring it on over here. All right, may as well get a start on this because Grant takes all day. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go for about a mile and a half, two mile walk. <laughs> all right. Hey, uh, I guess you can jump in the truck and I can uh, give you a ride down over there. Oh, that would be that would be great if possible. Hold on, is, 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 did Grant leave his truck over? Grant left his truck over here. I could just give you a ride in that thing. Oh, if you want. Yeah. yeah. Be I better mean, be than un having to unhook the semi. Yeah. Because unhooking the semi is a bit of a pain. All right. Well, then I'll uh, I'll have you give me a ride over there real quick. So we'll, All right. We'll be we'll be right back. All right. Uh, I don't know if he took the keys out of it. I hope he didn't. Oh, I guess better find out. If he didn't take the keys, we'll see in a little bit, Stevio. All right. Hey, hey Stevio. What's up? I want to get this uh, header off quick because we don't have much room to work with. So are you cool if um, are you cool if I connect to this and then clear a little path throughout this field just so we can put equipment because we're running out of room when people are pulling in with combines and stuff. You're the expert, sir. So you can do whatever you need to. Okay, sounds good. When I pull in here. Uh, can you just help me attach this? I'll jump out and, and kind of show you what how it works. But uh, okay, so I'm just gonna pull for it and then just. All right. So Grant, he's pulling up here and try to guide. He looks like he can see pretty good from the cab. Yo, you think you can just take the boss's truck like that? What's that? I didn't hear you. Do you, you don't think you you think you can just take the boss's truck like that, man? Uh, you know, it was for business, so you kind of we're we're in doing stuff. What do you, you think know? of the power stroke, though? First time. Uh, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too bad. I'm I'm a Dodge guy, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I caught myself doing 80 mile an hour. I didn't even know it. Oh yeah, that's it. Only 80. Uh, that's it. That's it. Hmm. Okay. So, so guys, it looks like there's another combine coming down the road. I'm assuming that's Jake, but yeah, it's Jake. You guys want me to clear out a spot so we can actually get some of this equipment out of the way and get it on the field? So yeah, so yeah, you may as well. May okay, as well. I can pull the where where that tractor go? Uh, it's right. <laughs> the semi's blocking it, dude. It's right oh. on the other side of the semi. Oh, yeah, dude, I didn't even see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you wanna, yeah, you can jump in there, but I'll I'll get going right now. And then you guys want me to start? Or do we want to wait for everybody to start? I know Buck. Has anybody talked to Buck yet? No. Not the demo? I think he's the... on his way, though. Okay. He okay, that'll be way. good. Holy crap, when Jake said he had an old puppy. Jeez, he's, he's rolling cold. Oh, man. Look at that rolling thing. Rolling cold with that old thing. What was that? 8820? Oh, We're going to have to tell yeah. him to put the oil in after he gets here. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, he almost tipped going off the ditch. All right. Well, you do you want to get going on that? Yeah, yeah. Or, I'll get yeah. going. All right. Hey, Jake. Need uh, help pitching? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. All right. And looking good. All right. Pitch him up. All right. You know what he's doing, Stevia? What? Oh, we, I think he's waiting for Grant. Yeah, I think Grant's just cutting out an area so we can park everything in. Field is yielding 155 bushes to the acre, what? which is crazy for around here. Wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's that what it's showing on my yield monitor. I don't know if that's messed up or what, but this is crazy, man. This is a magical field or something. Has anyone... I, I haven't even checked our co-op's uh, price page yet. I don't even know what wheat's selling for right now. Um, Here, I can pull it I up. Could, I can pull it up on my phone, too, here, yeah. I know I don't have any storage, so we're going to have to take it right to the elevator or co-op. Yeah, I think everyone's got their class ones here, so we can all drive semi. Well, I uh, I just pulled it up on my phone here. It looks like we're paying out eleven twenty-one, so eleven bucks twenty-one on the bushel. Wow, that wow. sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's for a good price. Time. So this is gonna be like eleven grand an acre or eleven hundred dollars. No, that'll be. So this will be getting like. So, so Stevio is going to be getting about sixteen hundred bucks an acre off this field. Wow! wow. This is going to wow. be good. Wow. This is going to be good. That'll help. That'll help cover wow. funeral costs for sure. 
Oh yeah. <clears throat> Over and above, that's for sure. Sun yeah. is shining on me today. Yeah. Yeah. So uh who's taking point who's who's the first pass on Combine? Uh I can lead the way. I can lead the way. And if you guys okay. want to follow. Uh has anybody any word with Buck? No. No. Um we could call him again, I suppose. Okay. Oh guys, I just got a text from Buck. Uh he's on his way. Okay, cool. Yeah. So he said uh, he should be here at like any minute now. Do we just go ahead and uh, get started here? Because, I mean, he can join in whenever, I suppose, or do we wait? I uh, may as well just get started. I don't see why not. All right. Well, Unless um, Grant has other plans. Yeah, we can get started. I'm down. All right. I'll jump in the green card if that's if that's cool. That works good. That works All good. Right. And we'll start filling semis, and then uh, we'll keep rolling. All, All right. right. All uh, right. Stevia, do you want to run Combine, or do you want to run a... Uh, a truck for now. What, oh, what's your? I will run the combine. That's what. You All want. right, go for it, boss. All right. Uh, the keys are in the back truck there, so feel free to drive it down once it's full. All right, appreciate it. Hey guys, there's Buck. Hey, there he is. Oh, Buck, look at you with your fancy little side steps. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah we got a nice truck here, but um. We do have not really a problem, but I'm gonna have to go up there and grab the uh, the combine. We can only bring. I'm gonna have to run back up there. I'm one of the only guys out of the shop today, so they're calling in somebody. He's on his way, but I have to go up there and grab the 780. But okay, okay, admire, that works good. Admire we'll the header while you're at it. All right, say about. I'll be back. We'll just put it on the 8820. Grant's in front of us. All right, now we're going. Had a little bit of hard time with the header there. It's really odd driving a 8820 because you don't sit uh, in the middle of the cab. That's pretty cool. But these, this wheat is really. Y'all got your ears on? Yeah, I can hear you. How's the field looking? Good, really good. It's extremely yielding high for Iowa at least I think <laughs> yeah but yeah the numbers he was throwing out seemed a little high do you uh so how are we wanting to do this or is uh, Austin running the cart and he's just gonna run it over to the trailer or is that field looking all right for a semi to come out into it the ground feels pretty hard where we're at hey Austin you there on the CB yeah yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little path through here. I don't know if Stevie, are you on the CB? Yeah. Yep, I can hear you. Okay, I'm going to cut a little path here because I'm completely full. So that way Austin can pull to the left of me and then uh, we can unload right here. There we go. Stevie, are you almost full too? Yeah, I got a half tank. Okay, I have 374 bushels I need to unload. So there we go. Austin, you should fit in under. the green cart. Okay. Austin, I'll pull up on the other side of you over here. All right. Grant, how's your yields looking still? Uh, it's showing about 150 still. Yeah, we're showing about 150 for yield. So, I mean, this is crazy good, man. Hopefully my fields are close to this even. Even half this, I'd be happy. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Isn't our wheat almost ready? Our wheat is ready, yeah. So after okay. this, we're going to... It's just full throttle through harvest. We'll have wheat harvest and we'll... Beans and want corn. Oh, I'm guessing you're uh you're full. I'm, yep, or I'm empty. All right. Okay, are you gonna run back to the, that to the truck? Yeah, I may as well. Okay, ten four. Grant, what do you want to do? You want to lead the way still? Yeah, I can lead the way, and then hopefully we can get down to that end, and then uh, after that, are you thinking we should? Uh, do you just want to do two headland, or do you want to do a headland all the way around the field then, before yep. we start going back and forth? Okay. So we'll just keep on working our way for this headland then. All right. Yo, uh, how full are you guys? Uh, I'm got about 344 bushels. So I'm I at this end. I'm gonna have to unload right here at the end. All right, Stevio, you're looking pretty full there. Yeah, I'm about at 90 percent or so. So I'm really full. All right. Hey, is there any semi driver on the radio right now? Yeah, what you need? 
Yeah, we're at the end here. We can either unload on the grain cart, or if a semi wants to meet us at the end here, we can unload right here. A semi could easily pull in here. Yeah, I can come down to that end if you want. Okay. Or, Austin, you just want us to unload in here, and then semi will be here any second? Yeah, sure, that'll work. Okay. Um... Rubber duck to pig pen, rubber duck to pig pen, AKA combine the truck driver. Good old Jakey boy, we got ourselves a little problem here. 10 4, what's the, what's the deal? Just, uh, I'll let you go up here. Uh, you got anything going on there, Grant? I'm, uh, I'm hitting about, yeah, I'm, I'm, here. I got 357 bushels and I got about 10 more bushels I can squeeze in the tank. Otherwise, I'm gonna be over full in here. So we need to get that, uh, that man, whoever's driving that grain cart needs to hurry their butt up because hey. we're about full. My, my unload speed is really bad, so I'm ripping down there as fast as I can. Okay, hurry it up, buddy. Semi's I'm on full. the way, too. I'm trying my best. Hey, Grant, I'll cut you a little unload place here. Okay, that'll be that'll be perfect. I screwed up because I did not. Yeah. yeah. Got here, I'll scoot you up. Cap weeds going oh. there. Oh, shoot. There we go. Appreciate it, Stevia. Yeah. You're a little slow in the grain card there, man. You want to hey. run the combo for a little bit? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I okay. need that. Okay, I'll I've... take the green card then. Are you just running straight back to the semis then? Back there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where. I think Jake's at the other end now, so uh, you're going to want to go over there. Okay, but... I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, shoot, that's right. Jake, uh, who's in the combine down there? Is Buck in the combine down there? Yeah, Buck is. Okay, Buck might be full, but I want to stick with you guys because I don't know if you guys are going to make it to the end, actually. So you guys are going to need yeah, me. Yeah, I don't time. think so. But this okay. this will get it to about 60%, so it's going to... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll run down to I'll run down to Buck then and see if he's yep. good. All right. Gotcha. Hey, Buck, buddy, if you can fill some in my front hopper here, that'd be great. Try to level this out. Oh, never mind. Gotcha. I got you. Ten four, Grant. You got your ears on? I'm here. Hey, uh, we're gonna make it down to the end here. Uh, I think we're just gonna unload into the semi. Okay. Okay. That'll work good. Yeah. Uh, so I realized I made a horrible cut there, dude. I apologize, guys. When I first started that cut with that with that uh, 9760 or 9670, oh my gosh! If you look at the cut from here, holy crap! I screwed that up. It is not straight at all. No dip, Sherlock. <laughs> okay, yeah. Feel free to unload there. Thank you, sir. This is an yep. upgrade, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll hop in old brute over here and get to combine him. All right. Just finished up half the field, so we're gonna get a, some more combines out for the other half. But these guys came through huge for us. We had three combines, old iron combine, the 8820, a new 780, and Grant brought his 9670, I believe. So. Grant also bought his uh, 7R, brand new 7R, looking pretty snazzy, I have to say myself. But this was a heartwarming present for us all. Thank you to the farmers. 
thanks for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.